Thursday morning temperature wise. How's the rest of the day looking? Much warmer than normal. We'll be up on either side of 80 degrees away from the coastline today. We'll talk all about those temperatures, but I want to start first talking about the tropics because we are watching a system trying to get its act together this morning, uh, likely to become tropical storm Nate today. Right now, 35 mile per hour sustained winds, making it a tropical depression. It's number 16, moving to the northwest at 6 miles per hour. This forecast from the National Hurricane Center shows this strengthening to a tropical storm today. And then coming very close to or just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula. And from there, as it enters the Gulf of Mexico and hits those warm waters of the Gulf, it is expected to strengthen. So the forecast right now has it as a hurricane as it approaches the U.S. coastline. Uh, between say eastern Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle. So we all of those Gulf Coast regions going to need to keep a close eye on the future track of TD 16. Some of the remnants of that may come up towards our area um, Monday into Tuesday. So we'll be keeping an eye on it for you. Narragansett Drive this morning. Our threat trackers in the green. No severe weather expected today, Friday or Saturday. It's a mild start this morning. How about those 60s in Smithfield, Warwick at 68 degrees right now. Tiverton's well into the 60s, 66. And it feels like summer if you're stepping outside in Newport Harbor at around 64. Radar's not tracking any precipitation. We do have a cold front, though, that's sitting up to our north and west. This will slowly sit across our area during the day today and you can see that the showers have mostly fizzled out but it is going to be bringing some extra clouds so rather than a mostly sunny sky we'll call it partly sunny and a mix of sun and clouds through the morning and into the afternoon as well it's a nice day just a little touch muggy as well as uh, partly sunny this is five o'clock in the evening. So maybe a little bit quick and a little overdone bringing in the shower threat, but we could get a couple of showers overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. By 7 a.m. though, this is exiting and rest of Friday looking dry. So I don't even have any raindrops in the seven day future cast for that time frame because it's mostly going to happen overnight. So 64 degrees, a warmer start. Oh, the windows down kind of morning maybe or AC on for the afternoon. It's warmer and muggy. Mid 70s in Narragansett and Westerly, upper 70s to around 80 in Wickford, 81 West Warwick, lower 80s in Woonsocket, Johnston, a warm day today, West Greenwich in the upper 70s, and we'll be in the upper 70s to low 80s in New Bedford, Seekonk, and Attleboro with a southwest wind staying about 5 to 15 miles per hour. That onshore flow helping to churn up our seas just a little bit at the coastline, so a moderate rip current risk today. If you're headed to the beaches and the actual air temperature right along the coast should be between 70 and 75. Out on the bay, southwest winds 5 to 15 knots. Visibility unrestricted. We'll drop into the 60s. Another warm night for us. Overnight lows dropping only to 60 degrees. We're warm again tomorrow. That shower threat ends early in the morning and Friday looking uh, partly sunny in the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 70s. Uh, most of Saturday and Sunday looking dry. Sunday probably a 20% chance of a shower, mostly towards the evening and night. Rain chances start to go up Sunday night and for Columbus Day on Monday. And some of those showers may last into Tuesday. Your pinpoint weather 